so now what we can do is to look at you know if i have a number right let's say um i'll stick to 251 because we have already done it we can work out one more example and let's say i have already converted this okay to the binary representation which happened to be five ones right correct this is what we got so what we want to do now is to find out what is the hexadecimal equivalent of this number right so let's say you did not know or maybe i'll start with another example i'll start directly with an arbitrary number okay um 10110011 okay so actually we do not know at this point what is the decimal value of this number we do not know right and therefore i am going to now see is it possible so remember that when i told you how to convert a decimal to uh binary i took the decimal number started dividing by 2 and then i did lot of things now if i ask you what is the hexadecimal equivalent of this number right one way is to go back to the decimal number system and then convert it back to the hexadecimal number system so one thing you can do is let's just do that as an example here so this is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 3 2 power 4 2 power 5 6 2 power 7 right so it is 3 plus um uh, so this is going to be 1 plus 2 plus um uh, 16 plus 32 plus uh 128 okay so what is this value it is um 51 plus 128 So this is one seventy nine, if I am not mistaken, right? So effectively, we get one seventy nine as the answer, right? This is in base ten, right? This is base two. So now, if I wanted to convert this binary number into its hexadecimal equivalent, right? We look at the octal conversion later. Then what do we need to do? Like I said, one way is to go to the decimal number one seventy nine. Okay. and i'm then going to convert this to its hexadecimal equivalent i'll do quotient remainder in both base 10 and then i'm going to do the hex representation okay so i divide by 16 right if i divide by 16 i will get the quotient as 11 right because the quotient is 176 right um, 16 plus 60 uh, 160 plus 16 is 176 and therefore the remainder is 3 now i get a quotient of 11 and as you saw in most cases right in some in in these cases it's very obvious that in base 16 i need few very few digits right therefore the hexadecimal representation of 3 is just 3 of 11 is a for 10 b for 11 right so therefore this is b3 to base 16 okay so th by the way this can be written in many ways okay instead of writing it to base 16 you will they, they, you might write it as hex b3 or you could write it as 0x b3 okay so essentially this h here means it's a hexadecimal representation and therefore the number must be treated as a base 16 number 0x also basically means something very simpler and you will see this in your computers as well when if you if you look at uh, the uh, disassemble your c code you will see some numbers like this okay so effectively the number 10110011 turned out to be the number b3 to base 16 okay now 
we'll look at a method of converting this binary number into the hexadecimal representation without having to go to the decimal representation right so you take this number here uh, let's take b7 let's take an 8 bit number okay let's take an 8 bit number for now b7 b6 b5 b4 b3 b2 b1 b0 okay what is this in binary okay if i look at this as a binary number in the decimal value it is bk 2 power k k equal to 0 to n minus 1 n happens to be 8 in this case okay so now what i will do is i will split this in powers of in in sets of 4 okay so this is b0 plus 2 times b1 plus 4 times b2 plus 8 times b3 okay 16 times b4 plus 32 times b5 64 times b6 plus 128 times b7 okay i'm going to look at this and split this in sets of 4 okay so i can write this as 8 b3 plus 4 b2 plus 2 b1 plus b0 okay i will remove the 16 from this number here okay and write this as plus b4 plus 2b5 i am going to divide by 16 in the second set here okay if i divide by 16 b4 will just become 1 32 by 16 you will get 2b5 plus 4b6 plus 8b7 right equals 16 power 1 into this so i can rewrite this as into 16 power 0 now you take the binary representation okay of this b3 b2 b1 b0 right so if you look at again it's a 4 bit number b1 b0 to b3 right is a binary number and the maximum value has to be just when all b's are 1 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 15 which is f so effectively all i have to do is i have grouped this in sets of 4 and that by taking the 16 out if i just replace this binary representation by its hexadecimal value i am done right so likewise you take the four bits b4 to b7 right again i am writing that as b4 b5 b6 b7 and it is being expanded in decimal equivalent as b4 plus 2 b5 plus 4 b6 plus 8 b7 right so effectively all i have to do is take sets of four bits in the binary representation and simply write out the hexadecimal value of that right so what we get here is you take the four sets b3 b2 b1 b0 okay 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 right so all i am doing is i am writing out the exhaustive combinations okay and we already saw if you take four bits right you will be able to represent 16 different unique values 0 to 15 right that's what i'm doing here 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 right and then i am going to just copy this right 
and then replace the last column. Okay, so I will replace all of this by numbers one 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 one. Okay, and then this is zero zero, right? So I can move this up. So yeah, right. These are the four values, and this is the hex. Representation, right? If it is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, right? So what we are doing here is we are taking four bits at a time and replacing that by its hexadecimal representation okay so let us look at this particular example to get a feel for it 10110011 okay so i have the number 10110011 so i said group them in sets of 4 okay 0011 is here right and therefore i get 3 then i have 1011. What is 1011? It is the number B. Right? And therefore, I can write this as B3 to base 16. Or I can write it as 0x B3. Right? Now you go back and see that's exactly what we got by converting this binary number back to its decimal form, then dividing by 16 iteratively and finding out the hexadecimal representation of this number right so therefore all you have to do is in order to convert you know in summary in order to convert an n bit binary number into its hexadecimal equivalent is to simply group them in sets of four bits and replace each of those four bits with their hexadecimal values okay now an obvious question to ask is what if i have nine bits okay Zero, uh, no, I will say one zero zero one, or I will just add one zero one one zero zero one one, right? Then, very simple, start from the bottom, group it as uh, this thing. You add, you prefix it with three zeros so that it becomes a multiple of four. So, effectively, I have this the hexadecimal is three. This is B and this is 1. So the answer is 1 B 3 in hexadecimal 16. Right? And uh, so effectively, that's all you have to do in order to go from binary to hexadecimal representations. Okay?